It's Monday, May 13th here in Seoul. I'm Oh jun and you're watching Korea Now. We start with the French-led rescue of four hostages in West Africa. Four hostages rescued by French special forces in Burkina Faso safely arrived in France on Saturday. Two French citizens, an American woman and a South Korean woman were freed in a nighttime operation late last week that killed two French elite soldiers. The 40-year-old South Korean woman, who was held captive for 28 days, is known to remain in good health, according to Seoul's foreign ministry, and is still receiving treatment at a military hospital in France. A ministry official said the woman talked with her family in South Korea by phone and will return home as soon as possible if she has no health problems. South Korean ambassador to France Choi Jong-un relayed to French President Emmanuel Macron President Moon Jae-in's gratitude for rescuing the South Korean national and his condolences for the French soldiers who died in the raid. The foreign ministry in Seoul is considering raising the travel alert level to the region. No group has taken responsibility for the kidnapping yet, but terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State are known to be operating in the area. Blackpink has become the first K-pop group to have its music video hit more than 800 million views on YouTube. According to YG Entertainment, the girl group's Tudududu surpassed the threshold at around 4.16 p.m. Saturday, nearly 11 months after its release last June. With the exception of Psy, the South Korean solo artist whose mega-hit Gangnam Style has 3.3 billion views on the platform, Blackpink is the first K-pop group to see one of its music videos reach the 800 million mark. Their label says YouTube and social media are catalysts for change in the global music market, and the world is closely watching Blackpink that's being called the queen in this area. Blackpink wrapped up their North American tour last week and is gearing up for their Europe tour that will take them to six cities starting in Amsterdam on the 18th. U.S. President Donald Trump has downplayed North Korea's recent weapons test in what's seen as efforts to keep the dialogue with the regime alive. In an interview with Politico, Trump said that he doesn't think the series of recent missile launches by the North was a breach of trust. He emphasized they were short-range missiles and what he calls a very standard stuff. Experts see the latest tests by the regime as a tactical move to increase leverage ahead of any future nuclear talks with the U.S. And those were the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.